Potential Energy Within Earth In a possible science fiction future, a hole is drilled completely through the Earth, passing through the core for research purposes. A gravitational sensor is dropped through the hole. Assume the Earth has a uniform density. The Earth's mass is m sub e, and the radius is r sub e. Let little r be the distance from the falling object to the center of the Earth. Find the gravitational potential energy of the sensor Earth system as a function of distance r. The gravitational potential energy equals the negative of the work done by the gravitational force. Right over here. Calculate the potential energy of the sensor Earth system by assuming the potential energy at infinity is zero, starting the sensor at an infinite distance from Earth. So that's this first term. Force of gravity, you start it at infinity, you bring it up to the radius of the Earth, and then you also take into account the radius of the Earth, and then R, which is how far the sensor is dropping through the Earth. The gravitational force changes, that's the trick on this one, as the sensor moves into the Earth, so the integral is calculated in two parts. Here's the force when you're outside the Earth, and here's the force when you're inside the Earth. All right, so it's a graph kind of like this. And remember, potential energy is going to be negative when we're talking about this subject. So here's R, and here's U. Linear and it drops off as 1 over r squared here. So first we'll simplify the result that's over here and then we'll check the boundary conditions which of course doesn't prove that we have a correct answer but it would show you if we got it wrong if the units didn't check out for example. So what are we doing on the first line? We're combining these two terms and we get this and then we're going to factor out a 2 over r cubed e and here's our final answer. So let's check the boundary conditions. When r is equal to 0, so that's when you're at the center of the Earth, we get this result right here. Well, we can't really check to see if that's right, other than the units work out, which is always good. So now let's check when you're at the surface of the Earth, r is equal to re, and we get this value, which of course is the potential energy of an object sitting on the surface of the Earth. So at least it checks out unit-wise, and this will be our answer. Oh, sorry. This is our answer. This is where we checked it. Here's the expression from the previous slide. And the first thing we're going to do is factor out minus g m sub e m. We factor the minus out because we know the potential energy is going to wind up to be zero. So now we have an integral of dr over r squared and r dr over r e cubed, where r e, of course, is a constant. We perform the integration and then we have our limits here, right here. And again, the integration of 1 over r squared gives you a negative 1 over r, and the integral of r gives you r squared over 2. We then substitute in our values, and right here, this is telling you that the gravitational potential energy at infinity is 0, right? Because 1 over infinity is 0. We then do a little rearranging. And we have this expression. We're not done yet. We're going to clean it up a little more. 